So today we are talking about Station 5 in MRCP paces and why Station 5 is so important. Okay. Now, uh, a lot of you who are practicing paces may already know this, uh, or you may not. But those of you who are starting out uh, may have heard of Station 5, which is actually quite a new concept if you are coming from, say, university, which for a lot of you will be the last set of exams you will have done. First of all, I just want to emphasize on the point that PACES is not all about knowledge, all right? I just want to say that PACES has got a lot of skill and strat strategizing involved in it. It is very much about techniques and the skill um, as much as it is about the knowledge, okay? And it is extremely important that, you know, we analyze and form relevant strategies and plan each move. It is like playing chess, basically. That's how I would um, draw analogies. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that, you know, at paces, you you have to be smart, okay? If you were an animal, you have to be that smart owl, not a raging bull. You can't just um, muscle your way through paces. This is something that I talk about during my course as well. All right. So, I want to just uh, drive home this point and let's so to do that let's look at this mark scheme which I've taken directly from the uh, MRCP paces website and you can access this as well uh, for your own use for your own practice all right so this mark scheme is for station 5 now if you are practicing paces you should be using mark schemes already okay if you are not then make sure you do if you are doing if you are still in your early phases of practice then of course it's not necessary but especially in the last um, four weeks or so of your practice um, and leading up to the exam time you have to be using your mark schemes so that you can give constructive feedback and see if you are passing stations or not basically all right so this is the mark scheme a sample mark scheme of station 5 that is current okay as of um, uh, July 2019 and this is used by the examiners during MRCP paces in the exam there are seven seven domains okay they're called domains and each of them are labeled by labeled by a letter so that is a domain there physical exam so a and there is b there and there's c there so each of them there are seven of them if you count them all the way to g so what that what that means is that there are seven areas that they are marking you on okay and each of them is uh, you can get uh, anywhere between zero, which is unsatisfactory, to two, which is satisfactory. So either you get zero, one, or two, all right? So that's how they grade you. And there are two cases in station five, and they are back to back, okay? So this, this um, mark scheme is repeated two times over. And remember, there are only seven domains, and what this means is that all seven domains are tested in station five okay this is the only station in mrcp paces where you are tested on every single domain do you see where i'm getting at so this box is very important okay so these domains are very important so let's talk about the marks the marks that are available then. So two cases, as I said. So per case, you are getting 28 points, essentially, okay? Because there are two examiners um, for each case. So there are 28 points. And the total marks available are 56 for Station 5. All of Station 5, you get 56 points, okay? Now, how does it compare to other stations? How does it compare to the entire exam? The entire exam is 172 marks, the entire exam, okay? And there are five stations in the entire exam. But look at this, you get 32%, station five is 32% of the entire exam. I'll just let you have a minute to digest this fact. So, what does this mean then? So, the proportion, obviously, is very much off here. 
Okay, so as I said, there are five stations. So surely each station, if you know it was an equal and fair world, uh, should have 20% of the exam, right? But hang on, that's not quite right here. Station five alone carries one third of the weight of the entire exam. So that means that this is the make or break station in MRCP paces. And this is why it is so important, so, so important to get this right. And if you get it right, you are safe and you are in that little comfortable kushti zone, okay? You can relax, which is why uh, giving and dedicating time to Station 5 is extremely important. And there are so many strategies, so many elements to Station 5 that you need to get right. If you get it wrong, then you are in dangerous waters, I'm afraid. You know, a lot of, pe a lot of people, a lot, a lot of my friends um, have failed paces purely because they couldn't manage the complexity of Station 5. And it is just so vital. So based on this, I'm going to be talking a lot about Station 5 in the coming videos on this channel. And also you can find out more on my website, which is keenmedic.com and you can register for the free paces webinar where you you'll get even more information and you can register for the course from there i'll see you in the next video